Urban Clifford. Irby. Green, August 8, 1926 to December 31, 2018, was an American jazz trombonist who toured with Woody Herman, Gene Krupa, Jan Savit, and Frankie Carl. He played on over 250 recordings and released more than two dozen albums as a soloist, and was highly respected by his fellow trombonists. Green's trombone sound was especially noted for its warm, mellow tone, even in the higher registers where he was more fluent than most trombonists. His technique was considered flawless by many in the music industry and he played in major jazz festivals, motion picture soundtracks, concert halls, nightclubs, radio, television and the White House. He was inducted into the Alabama Jazz Hall of Fame in 1995. Early years and influences Born in Mobile, Alabama, Green was taught the piano as a child by his mother, jazz and popular tunes from the beginning. He picked up the trombone, which both older brothers played, when he was about 12. Although he listened to such trombone greats as Tommy Dorsey, J.C. Higginbotham, Jack Jenny, Jack Teagarden and Trummy Young he has said that he was more influenced by the styles of Dizzy Gillespie, Charlie Parker, and Lester Young. Irby's trombone style was also influenced by vocalists such as Perry Como, and the vocal style of Louis Armstrong. Green's father died when he was 15 and Irby went straight into professional music, first joining the Tommy Reynolds Band in California before moving on to stints with Bob Strong, Jan Savit, and Frankie Carl. Green also played with the Auburn Knights Orchestra, a college big band based in Auburn, Alabama while attending Auburn High School. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Professional career. In 1947, Green joined Gene Krupa's band and quickly moved up to Woody Herman's third Thundering Herd. Big Band in 1950 to play with his brother, Jack. His soaring ballad style was featured on such solos as Hoagie Carmichael's Skylark, and provided a contrast to Herman's previous first heard rough and ready trombone star, Bill Harris. In 1953 he moved to New York City, quickly establishing himself as the premier trombonist in the booming recording industry and in 1954 he was voted the new star trombonist in the international critics poll from Downbeat magazine. His style was not as blues-influenced as others, in that he was among the few players who commanded the high tessitura favored by Glenn Miller, Tommy Dorsey, and Jack Jenny with an agility that was not shown by these previous trombonists in their recordings. Some of his solos provided the highlights on one-hit wonder albums from Verve Records, such as that of organist Walter Wanderley, as well as established artists like Herbie Mann. He recorded with virtually all of the major jazz musicians of the 1950s and 1960s and led his own groups while also joining tours as a featured performer, including a three-month tour leading the Benny Goodman Orchestra and fronting the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra after Dorsey's death in 1956. He collaborated with innovative producer Enoch Light for the Command and Project 3 labels, producing what are probably his most notable recordings, such as the two-volume sets The Persuasive Trombone of Irby Green and 21 Trombones. He was sideman and soloist on the album Project S. Continental by Ray Conniff and his Orchestra and Chorus 1961. The 1980s and beyond saw a slowing down of Irby Green's recording career. 
Both albums recorded by him during this period are live, straight jazz works, Just Friends, and Sea Jam Blues. Topic: Personal life. Green spent his later life with his second wife Kathy, a jazz singer, at their home in the Poconos region of Pennsylvania. The couple had two children, Jesse and Casey. Jesse is a jazz pianist and lives nearby, while Casey is a TV, film director, producer in Los Angeles, California. Irby's first wife was Darline Dietz and they had two children, Urban Clifford Green Jr. and James Preston Green. Urban has a daughter, Gretchen Alexandra Polker Green, who lives in Sea Cliff, New York. James lives in Tallahassee, Florida, and has a son named Vincent. In 1995 Green was elected into the Alabama Jazz Hall of Fame. He continued playing live at the Delaware Water Gap Celebration of the Arts Coda Festival every September into the last years of his life, just miles down the road from his home. Green's obituary was published in the Pocono Record. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Discography. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> As leader. 1953 New Faces, New Sounds, Blue Note. 1954 Irby Green Septet Blue Note 1954 Irby Green and his band Vanguard 1954 A Cool Yuletide X 1955 Blues and Other Shades of Green ABC Paramount 1955 The Melodic Tones of Irby Green Bethlehem 1955 East Coast Jazz, Vol. 6 Bethlehem 1955 The Lyrical Language of Irby Green Bethlehem 1955 The Melodic Tones of Irby Green Vanguard 1955 Blues and Other Shades of Green Paramount 1956 All About Irby Green and His Big Band ABC Paramount 1957 Irby Green Octet – Slid and Swing Jazz Twin. 1957 Let's Face the Music and Dance RCA 1958 Best of New Broadway Show Hits RCA 1960 The Persuasive Trombone of Irby Green Command 1961 The Persuasive Trombone of Irby Green Volume 2 Command 1963 Irby Green and His Sextet Command 1967 21 Trombones Project 3 1971 Green Power Project 3 1972 Bean Green Project 3 1973 Old Time Modern RCA recorded in 1954 1973 21 Trombones Volume 2 Project 3 1974 Irby Green's Big Beautiful Band Project 3 1976 The Fox CTI 1977 Senor Blues CTI 1978 Live at Rick's Cafe American Flying Fish 1981 Just Friends EJ 1995 C Jam Blues Chiaroscuro Topic as Sidemen with Manny Albam The Drum Suite RCA Victor, 1956 with Ernie Wilkins Jazz Goes to the Movies Impulse, 1963 with Steve Allen Jazz for Tonight Coral, 1955 with Trigger Alpert Trigger Happy 
Riverside, 1956 with the Count Basie Orchestra this time by Basie. Reprise, 1963 Ella and Basie. Verve, 1963 Basie Land Verve, 1964 with Ruth Brown Ruth Brown 65 Mainstream, 1965 with Ray Bryant Madison Time Columbia, 1960 with Kenny Burrell Blues, The Common Ground Verve, 1968 Night Song Verve, 1969 with Ron Carter Parade Milestone, 1979 with Buck Clayton Huckleberry Buck and Robin's Nest, Columbia, 1954. How High the Phi, Columbia, 1954. Jumpin' at the Woodside, Columbia, 1955. All the Cats Join in, Columbia, 1956. With Al Cohn, Son of Drum Suite, RCA Victor, 1960. With Ray Conniff S. Continental, Columbia, 1961. With Paul Desmond Summertime A and M, C T I, 1968. With Bill Evans Symbiosis M P S, 1974. With Gil Evans Into the Hot Impulse, 1961. With Art Farmer Listen to Art Farmer and the Orchestra Mercury, 1962. With Maynard Ferguson The Blues Roar Mainstream, 19. 1965 with Aretha Franklin Soul 69 Atlantic 1969 with Dizzy Gillespie Gillespieana Verve 1960 Perceptions Verve 1961 with Johnny Griffin White Gardenia Riverside 1961 with Coleman Hawkins The Hawk in Hi-Fi RCA Victor 1956 Wrapped Tight Impulse, 1965 with Billie Holiday Lady in Satin Columbia, 1958 with Bobby Hutcherson Conception, The Gift of Love Columbia, 1979 with Milt Jackson Ray Brown, Milt Jackson with Ray Brown Verve, 1965 with Antonio Carlos Jobim Wave CTI, 1967 Stone Flower CTI, 1970 with J. J. Johnson J. J.'s Broadway Verve, 1963 with Quincy Jones The Birth of a Band. Mercury, 1959. The Great Wide World of Quincy Jones Mercury, 1959. Quincy Jones Explores the Music of Henry Mancini Mercury, 1964. Quincy plays for Pussycats Mercury, 1959-65 1965 with Irene Krall Stevirineo. United Artists, 1959 with Mandel Low themes from Mr. Lucky, The Untouchables and other TV action jazz RCA Camden, 1960 Satan in High Heels soundtrack Charlie Parker, 1961 with Herbie Mann Sultry Serenade Riverside, 1957 Salute to the Flute Epic, 1957 with Carmen McRae Something to Swing About Cap, 1959, with Gil Mele Gil Mele Quintet with Irby Green and Tall Farlow, Blue Note, 1953, with Blue Mitchell Smooth as the Wind, Riverside, 1961, with Wes Montgomery Movin' Wes, Verve, 1964, with Mark Murphy Raw. Riverside, 1961, with Oliver Nelson Impressions of Phaedra United Artists Jazz, 1962, The Spirit of 67 with P. Wee Russell Impulse, 1967, with Joe Newman I'm Still Swinging, RCA Victor, 1955 Salute to Satch, RCA Victor, 1956 with Chico O'Farrell Nine Flags Impulse, 1966 with Glenn Osser in My Merry Oldsmobile Dejan, 1964 with Henri René Compulsion to Swing RCA Victor, 1959 with Lalo Schifrin New Fantasy Verve, 1964
The dissection and reconstruction of music from the past is performed by the inmates of Lalo Schifrin's demented ensemble as a tribute to the memory of the Marquis de Sade Verve, 1966, Towering Takata CTI, 1976, with Shirley Scott Great Scott. Impulse, 1964, with Frank Sinatra L.A. Is My Lady, Quest, 1984, with Jimmy Smith. Bashan, The Unpredictable Jimmy Smith, Verve, 1962. The Cat, Verve, 1964, with Sonny Stitt. The Matadors Meet the Bull, Roulette, 1965. I Keep Coming Back. Roulette, 1966, with Stanley Turrentine. Nightwings, Fantasy, 1977, with Walter Wanderley. Rain Forest, Verve, 1966, with Dinah Washington. The Swingin' Miss, D. E. Marcy, 1956, with Joe Wilder. The Pretty Sound, Columbia, 1959, with Kai Winding. More Brass, Verve, 1966. Dirty Dog, Verve, 1966, with Steve Lawrence. Swingin' West, 